Hi guys, it's Nessie and it is that time again, tis story time. I'm actually filming this about two weeks before it is actually getting uploaded because I am going to be on vacation for quite a while and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do very many videos while I'm on vacation. I'm probably going to be editing this on on the way to Newfoundland, I'm just- Plus on top of that, I have my makeup on from the lip sync battle and while we're on that subject, we actually won in the group category. Thank you guys so, so, so much for voting for us and watching the video. That was the only reason why they actually even let us go on. We were also kind of the only other group category there. There was another, there was another like group of two girls, but she was also there individually. So I guess she chose that over the group, so. We ended up being the grand finale and stuff. I said I was gonna vlog it. I kind of did, but unfortunately, I was not able to record performance because we needed my phone for the music. Uh, so I saw some people recording it. Uh, so if I do happen to find a link or anything, I will put it down below or up here somewhere. So keep a watch out for that. And again, thank you guys so 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 much. Today we're gonna to be talking about how I was friends with Nick Jonas's girlfriend. And you will find out if you keep watching about the whole deal. Oh my gosh, you guys, the cats are still not getting along. If you keep watching, you will find out the whole scoop about this entire story. So when I was in around the fourth, fifth, sixth grade, there was a new student there and let's just call her I don't know, Melody, because Melody had three things that she loved to do. She loved talking about the Jonas Brothers, she loved talking about her singing career, and she loved to lie. But guys, 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 before you, before you click away, there is some truth to what she was saying. But to what? So our first obsession was the Jonas Brothers. Camp Rock had just been released and hit Camp Rock 2 had just come out or maybe it was a few years later when it came out. I don't know. Everybody was like obsessed with Camp Rock and, and the Jonas Brothers. I was not really a Jonas Brothers fan. I guess that's kind of why we didn't really get along on this one thing. Um, I was still like obsessed with High School Musical at the time and of course Disney. Uh, but Camp Rock was not really my thing. The second thing that she was completely obsessed with was her music career. She kept telling everybody that she had a record deal and because she had a record deal she was better than basically everybody who wanted to pursue being a singer or already was a singer. I had been at this school for many a year. I've been there since this since senior kindergarten moving in from Florida. People had known for years and years and years from like talent shows and stuff that I was a singer. She didn't like that. She thought that because she had a record deal she was better than basically everybody. She was like an okay singer, like she wasn't like the greatest singer of all time. She actually was laughed at in an assembly where she sang Colors of the Wind, which she A, did not prepare for, and people laughed at her, and people asked me to sing it instead, and I was just, people just kept telling me that I was a lot better than her. All the best to her anyway, I'm, I, if she sees this video. And the third thing, she loved to lie. Her favorite thing to talk about, other than the fact that she had a record deal and she had concerts and she's gonna go meet this celebrity and that celebrity, and her favorite thing to tell everybody and brag about was that she was Nick Jonas's girlfriend. Nick Jonas, of course, was, you know, the Jonas brother that everyone was obsessed with. It was either Nick or Joe. Nick, because he was younger, people thought he was cuter. And I kinda wanted to call her bluff on this because I was just it's like, first of all, Nick Jonas is dating Miley Cyrus. Second of all, you have absolutely zero connection to the Jonas Brothers other than the fact that you have a record deal. And the third thing I was thinking, why in hell would he waste his time on like a 10, 11, 12 year old when he has Miley Cyrus? Just saying. But of course, this didn't stop her from spreading the fact that she was Nick Jonas' girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Taylor Lautner's girlfriend. Totally. I'm not. I wish I was. So anyway, this girl, she kind of had a thing about keeping up with the whole shebang that she had a record deal. She even added me and my friends to her fan mail list or whatever. Basically, every so often she would email us saying, Oh, I'm working on this on my album. Oh, my website's almost up. This was before like cyberbullying was a whole thing. I am not, I am absolutely not proud of what I did when I was that age. So guys, do not cyberbully. It is probably the worst thing I can do. I was reading through my emails that I sent to her like just recently and I'm just, and I just cringed. And I was just like covering my eyes like, no, 
Mm -mm. So of course, being the troll that I was and hating her so friggin' much, I decided to send her emails back, basically telling her, you know, you don't need to give up this whole charade of you having a record deal and having a website just so you can feel better about yourself. Keep in mind the internet was not that big during this time. Basically it was only used for like MSN or like streaming movies. I was mad at her for a lot of things. But I assume mostly it was lying and thinking that she was the greatest thing of all time, I guess. Unfortunately, all those emails came back to bite me because in the end, her manager messaged me back saying, Hi, uh, I'm Melody's manager and um, I don't appreciate what you've been writing to me. So I will take you off the fan mail list if it really bothers you that much. And I'm pretty sure I apologized a lot at that point. Probably because I sent all those emails. Maybe that's why I'm not famous. I don't know. But then again, neither is she. So eventually one day she finally emailed us. Like I think she just ma emailed her personal friends. I think we were kind of friends. We were like frenemies at this point. And she sent me an email saying that she, her website was up. I asked for a link to her website, which I eventually got from her manager yet again. So I went on this link and actually it turned out to be pretty legit. She was putting up updates on the website, like she had her cover of her album that was supposed to come out, which never actually did, and I saw that she had a group chat there. And being the internet troll that I was, I decided to make my username Melody's Voice Sucks. So basically I just went on it and then I just basically trolled her so much. I don't even know why the that that whole thing was active. She was apparently on it every so often and so was some of her fans. Maybe they were bots, I don't know. I don't really remember too much of this. This was years ago, so keep that in mind. And so, you know, I started looking through it, so I was just like, maybe she's been telling the truth this entire time. Like, maybe she does have a record deal. I mean, like, that's what I'm seeing right now. I mean, maybe she is dating Nick Jonas. Of course, I was not willing to admit that she was a better singer than I was. <laughs> I looked through this entire website. It seemed squeaky clean, but at the same time, not exactly official yet for somebody who's apparently going to be the newest thing. But then I struck gold. I went to the Frequently Asked Questions page. What was one of the questions you asked? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Are you actually dating Nick Jonas? <laughs> oh my gosh. So at this point I'm thinking like either she put this up or this is actually a Frequently Asked Question. And what was the response that she gave back? Uh, the answer to the question was No, that was just some rumor that someone spread about me. Guys, I cannot make this shit up. Like, I really wish that I had proof to show you guys, but I actually went back to that website and it's completely gone. But like, I shit you not. Like, I had friends go onto this website and they, they, they were my witnesses. Like, this, this whole rumor that she had spread herself was a frequently asked question and she's confirming that it's not even true. Guys, like, like this was just hilarious to me. I love to tell this story. Um, eventually, Melody ended up moving uh, and her fourth favorite thing to talk about, how much she hated the last school that she went to, which was mine. From then on, I had never talked to her since. I think she tried adding me as friends on Facebook. I might have added her and then deleted her maybe. I actually stalked her again on Facebook. Uh, first I googled her to see maybe she did become famous, but she did not. In fact, she's actually in school for musical theater. So, you know, props to you. Melody, if you're watching this, I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. And I really hope that things are going well with you and Nick Jonas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yeah, um, I guess moral of the story to this would be, you know, don't cyberbully. Like, this. I know this is a funny video, but like, don't do it. Like, you never know, like, what can happen. Maybe this girl could have turned out famous, and then I would not have been able to pursue any of my future endeavors. You never know. And also, don't spread lies about yourself that you know yourself isn't true. And don't put it up online to basically debunk it and put it as a frequently asked question. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the story of how I was friends with Nick Jonas's girlfriend. If you guys like these videos and you guys want to see more, hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe. I, I think I just did it in reverse. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I will also put those links down below. 
Once again, thank you guys so much for voting for us. If we actually did end up getting the, the loudest scream, I actually we actually would have won some uh, Nick Jonas and Demi Lovato tickets. Then I could have asked Nick Jonas himself if he actually knew this girl. Uh, that would have been hilarious one. Uh, and um, I guess that's it. I will see you guys next week or the week after or whenever I get the chance to upload this video. So keep updated and um, keep going, sparkle on.